Goeie naand julle, welkom terug by my kanaal So sê ek kan sê dat ons by Observer Wat moet nou aangaan met die game Ek ons is nou waar die laatste by die ou was Wat in die huis doodgemaak is En nou is ons op pad om sy vrou te soek Ons vermoed sy is daar by die tattoo baler Maar kom ons check wat sê die so I think my is by Adolf Amir Novak's Bruce Psyche Dan must now find the victim's wife Elena So dit is die vrou wat ons nou op soek is She's the one who called her body in Adam's apartment with the lockdown still in place. It's likely she saw me in the building. There were glimpses of a tattoo parlor in the Dream Eater. Seems like a good place to start. So go and go on here. There was a big ground floor, so it's not the wrong thing. KPD, I'd like to ask you some questions. Certainly, officer. Always glad to do my civic duty. You seem pretty laid back. What you do now, the building is under lockdown. Well, yes, but there's not much I can do about it, is there? I mean, I'm sure the authorities are handling the situation as we speak. Come to think of it, isn't that why you're here? Well, you, you might be giving the authorities too much credit. Officer, please. It's highly demoralizing to hear that kind of talk from a man of the law. Now, is there anything else I can help you with? Seen or heard anything suspicious lately? Neighbors acting weird? Actually, I did hear some noises coming from 104. Then the woman stormed out of the apartment and ran off. Did you see where she went? Well, no, I didn't actually see her. I could smell her, you see. Smell her? Don't tell me you can't. That cheap crap she pours over herself, the entire hallway reeks of it. She probably thinks it makes her seem ladylike. I see. I got it. Thanks for your help. I could hear her panting, too, moaning like the whore she is. You did, huh? Yeah, biggest fucking cock tease you've ever seen. Always toying with me, bending over when reaching for the lock, all naked underneath her clothes. She knows I'm watching, too. She likes to make me itch, cooped up with that junky meathead. I mean, what does he have that I don't? They're all like that, you know? Fucking mongoloid bitch. Now, I hope she gets what she fucking deserves, so that she knows she's fucked up. She'll have no choice but to come to me, begging. But it'll be too late, you hear me? Too late! Okay. How about you shut the fuck up? Well, that was certainly uncalled for. Good day to you, officer. Psycho. Hey, PD. I'd like to have a word. It's about time you showed up. What the hell is going on? Why are we under lockdown? Most likely a malfunction. I'm still looking into it. Well, you ain't looking in the right places. Because I don't know nothing. Noticed anything suspicious or unusual? Other than the lockdown, I mean. Well, the couple from 104 were making an awful lot of noise a while back. More than usual, I mean. The girl ran off, and then it got quiet. Did you see where she ran off to? I ain't one to snoop. But, judging by the footsteps... I'd say she ran down to the courtyard. Anything else you can tell me about them? What? The couple? Don't know them that well. The girl seems nice enough. Not sure about the guy, though. What about the girl? Oh, she, she's a trooper. Works double shifts at Chiron to support that ex-con asshole of a husband. Any idea what she might be doing for them? Can't be too important, or she wouldn't be living in this shithole. Explains the look on her face, though. What do you mean by that? Worn out, fidgety, jumping in shadows. Working for the corporation has that effect, I guess. What can you tell me about the guy? Amir? I think he's called. He looks tough, but he's got the yellow eye, you know? Twitches like a junkie. 
Probably sells the shit, too. How do you know that? What, the dealer? I see him sneak around during the night, carrying packages and stuff. I dealt he's the goddamn postman. Does this kind of stuff happen often? You ever see your husband get violent? Nah, nah, he ain't a wife beater or anything like that. He's just... messed up. And again, ain't we all? Anything else out of the ordinary? Anything at all? Well, other than some asshole bringing animals into the building, I'd say that's pretty much it. Animals? Yeah, I could, uh, I could swear I heard something growling in the hallway earlier. I informed the janitor, but, eh, he'd lose the plot midway through the talk anyway. Thanks. You've been very helpful. <laughs> that's new. Getting out of here.
IPD, I need to talk to you. Look who's here. The leech that's been skulking around the building. If you know where to look. Is this where you tell me you got eyes up my ass? You ain't that pretty. Besides, ever since the lockdown, I've been kind of busy. Seen anything suspicious lately? Other than the lockdown, I mean. I saw that booth babe run out of 104. Oh, she was heading for the courtyard, but then I lost her. Someone chasing after her? Eh, maybe. The surveillance cameras have blind spots. If you know where they are, you can hide in plain sight. Okay, smartass. Tell me. Why am I still standing here? Okay, Slimeball, you found Amir's little stash, and the fucktard used our names on the merch. Close enough. Apartment numbers. <laughs> oh, busted. Let's call for backup. Oh, wait. You tried that already. Screening my calls, are you? Why don't you take a break and go hack yourself? Officer, please. What you're talking about is highly illegal. Not to mention unethical. Let's just say... I'm a concerned citizen with a very particular skill set. I'll turn a blind eye to the monkey on your back if you put your skills to work at restoring my comms. What if I could? As long as we're under lockdown, this is a complete dead zone. But I've been scanning the internal network for signs of the double A glitch. Come again? The double A glitch, you know, the algorithm that makes the nanites go berserk on their own host, as in why nanophage happens? And? Nothing so far. Well, hell a fucking Louia. Look at you, an optimist. All bets are off until I finish my scan. You know what? The way things are. You're wasting my time, so I'm letting you off the hook. Really? I mean, great. You know, for a leech, you're not a half-bad fucking guy. Even slik nog wel cool willen. KPD, I need to ask you some questions. Uh, what's your name, boy? Uh, I like to know who I'm speaking to. Daniel Lazarski. Uh, John Bukowski. To meet you, Daniel Lazarski. Same here. Tell me, Daniel. That rumbling I heard, uh, was that all locked down? Yeah, it was. We're trying to rule out the phage. 
<laughs> Doesn't seem to bother you. Hey, <laughs> are, are we having fun or what? <laughs> I know you're from somewhere. The name rings a bell. <gasps> Lots of people used to know me back when I was in the ring. Hang on. You're the champ. Bulldozer Bukowski. Uh, what's left of him? Uh, I used to be able to crush a man's skull with my bare hands. Uh, now I can't even wipe my own ass. What's wrong? What happened to your ass? Time happened. The corporation happened. My retirement happened. <laughs> Who gives a flying shit about the other tenants, right? Oh, you mean the selfish pricks who are too busy with their worthless lives to help out an old cripple? <laughs> oh, the ones who turn up their projectors when they hear a neighbor calling? Yeah. Yeah, I guess I don't really care. <gasps> we all get what we deserve. I got one of those. All I have left. You used to have all sorts of great shit back in the day. Uh, carbo tie legs, uh, a pneumatic arm, reinforced skin. Uh, hell, I even had some of my internal organs replaced. What happened? You lose them because of an outbreak? Uh, I wish. At least that would have been vaguely poetic. So what crippled you in the end? <laughs> the fine print. Must be tough to go on like this. <sighs> yeah, but I can't just give up. <sighs> Not in my DNA. I suppose the drugs helped you out a little? Hey! I ain't no fucking junkie. <laughs> you, you got that? You know what I got? You get your painkillers from Amir. Uh, who? Come on, I found a big stash with your name on it. No need to who me. Uh, what the hell? <sighs> yeah, he, he brings me stuff sometimes. Well, that's too bad, because he's dead now. I gotta go. Oh, whoa. Hey, hey, hold on, Lasarski. Uh, what did you say? I said I gotta go. <sighs> no. No, before that. You said the kid's dead. <gasps> Damn. There goes my discount. Uh, any idea who did him in? I was hoping you could tell me. Uh, ain't got a clue. All right, champ. Hang in there. Uh, yeah, fuck you too.
Six two one zero. Oh. We have a third victim. Time of death, about an hour ago. Starting forensic analysis. We got a match. So you call the dead man in Adam's apartment. Broken nails, bloody fingertips, clear signs of a struggle. on the floor. Looks like she was dragged back here. Hey man, I saw some of the work you've done on my friend Dave and I got to tell you that's some seriously wicked ink. I want to get in some of that. I was thinking of doing an original design, maybe a skull with flames around it. But get this, the flames are actually like animated and forming like as far as we on my elbow. Now it's better out there, but with a talent and you it ain't no thing. So, so like a drop of a line where you can squeeze me in. I'm good for money too, I mean it's a bit short on gas, but you take stands right again love your work special offer hope you get the right address if this is not in fact that I can explain please this is awesome
it goes for a gear bag, you know. The neural implants untouched. The trail goes. Warning. Attempting a necroneural connection is in direct violation of the Postmortem Observation Act of 2061. Authorization denied. Emergency override. Open maintenance panel.
fucking slop again? It's called soup. Now dig in. It's not getting any better. <laughs> Ik denk ik niet eens dat ik dit gezin heb gezaaid. Dan kijk ik wat verder gaan niet. We pensioneren de week. Ik ga maar een praatje bij hem. Maar zo bij concentratie werk ik zo. Dit is toch een freaky game. Zo niet over te denken. Jullie daar van niet. We pensioneren de week. Cheers. Bye.